everyone welcome to its english version if you're new here or oh, welcome back if you've already visited i'm joyful to see you here again now i want to ask you something that do you know how to give bad news to someone or do you know how to respond to when someone gives you the bad news you know what whenever we have to give the bad news we have to do it properly and when we receive some bad news we have to respond to it properly so in this lesson i'll be telling you how to do the same so i'll be discussing some phrases that will help you to respond to someone when you get the bad news and to give someone bad news now the quote of the day is good judgment comes from experience and often experience comes from bad judgment good judgment comes from experience and often experience comes from bad judgment now let's begin so first of all i'll be telling you how to give bad news so number one phrase i have is i don't know how to announce this but i don't know how to announce this but after but, but there are four dots i mean like there are dots so it means that you have to add the bad news let's say i don't know how to announce this but the examinations are are is cancelled the examination is cancelled i don't know how to announce this but the examination is cancelled so um in every sentence uh, sorry in every phrase we'll be discussing now there will be dot dot so it means that you have to add the bad news there number 2 i have I'm afraid I've got something sad to tell you. I'm afraid I've got something sad to tell you. This means that you're afraid but you have got something really sad to tell that person. Then dot dot it means you have to add the bad news. Number 3 is I'm afraid I won't be able to tell you or if a group of people is saying uh, are telling uh, a group of people are telling bad news to someone you can say I'm afraid uh we won't be able to tell you or we won't be able to uh you can say tell you or you can say um to express the feelings of whatever the bad news is i'm afraid i won't be able to tell you or i am afraid or we are afraid we won't be able to tell you if there a group of person are telling the bad news well not just a group of person let's say a company a company is announcing its it's like maybe you can say loss or something something bad so you can the company can say we are afraid it's not just a group of people but a company or oh, can also say this number 4 i have i feel really bad having to tell you this but you're feeling really bad to tell that person that particular bad news i feel really bad having to tell you this but then add the bad news Next I have please don't take this badly but please don't take this badly you are just requesting that person not to take the news badly Next is there is no easy way to say this but there is no easy way to say this but this means that you're really afraid but there is no easier there is no simpler way to tell that particular news that particular situation so you're really apologizing kind of uh, you are in a apologizing kind of situation you are kind of saying and apologizing at the same time next is it is my unfortunate duty to tell you that it is my unfortunate duty to tell you that in uh, here you're saying that you're not fortunate you are feeling really bad you're feeling really unfortunate that you have to tell you that particular thing to that person so this is really bad from your side next one is i'm sorry to have tell you this but i'm sorry to have to tell you this it means that you're apologizing but you're really um at the same time you're really sad that you have to tell that person that particular thing next one is really short and like simple to say unfortunately unfortunately um let's say an example let's take an example unfortunately um she is no more or whatever next is i tried but i tried but i failed in the exam um i tried but i was not able to go there so it's just a short one to say 
Next we have I regret to inform you that I regret to inform you that you are regretting that you have to inform that person the particular the particular situation the particular news. Next one is I need to warn you that I have some bad news. So in this uh, phrase you are um, warning that person you're giving a warning to that person that uh, a bad news is coming so be prepared. I need to warn you that I have some bad news. Next one is I'm afraid I've got some bad news. You're afraid that you've got some bad news. So next one is like for like you can say um uh, you are going to your friends and you're saying that we are in deep trouble. This means you are telling this particular bad news to a group of people. We are in deep trouble. We are in deep trouble. You can say a company a company CEO can say this. I'm just taking an example. I'm just taking an example. Don't take it so seriously. I'm like, uh, this is most often said when a particular person is actually saying or telling this bad news to a large group of people. So then we have to use like these kinds of phrases. Next one is also used in the same situation. Now we are in a mess. Now we are in a mess. Actually, it is W E apostrophe R E. So, if you're not able to understand what V R V haven't I used A R E R? Actually, it's, it's a short form of writing V R. So it is W E apostrophe R E. We are in a mess now. We are in a mess. So this is like you're telling the people that now V V group V group are in a mess. So now these were some of the ways to give bad news. Now let's see how to respond to bad news. when you get the bad news when someone gives you the bad news how you have to respond to it because responding is really really important in every situation so for responding number 1 we have actually i have this oh no you can start your your express your concern with oh no you can say let's take an example oh no i haven't imagined that but oh, the starting starting the sentence with oh no is like the best and like the sudden way and the shortest way to respond to some bad news something that you were like not expecting so this is one of the best and shortest way to say to respond next we have that's terrible that's terrible you are really feeling horrible you're really feeling terrible you haven't imagined that or maybe if you have imagined it So if you maybe thought of that you were seeing that loss coming you were seeing that miss happening coming you can just say that's terrible it's a sudden and a short way to respond next one is i can't believe it i can't believe it like you can't believe what just happened what you just heard next one is what a pity what a pity what a pity means you're really feeling bad you're really feeling like oh that should not have happened oh so what a pity next one is oh dear oh dear as far as i'm concerned this one is a kind of um uh, maybe i'm like not sure or if you're sure you can just tell me in the comment section but this is a kind of more british way oh dear you like even are imagining uh this is not like This is not to the situation we where you have to respond oh dear when you have to respond oh dear let me tell you like you have heard that someone else is in a trouble or some bad thing has happened to someone else and you are listening that particular thing from that person or maybe from another person maybe that per- who, who with whom the mishappening has happened a friend of uh, that person is telling or a close relative of that person is telling then you can just respond oh dear oh dear you can like you really feeling like oh oh dear you can also you like use uh you can also say oh dear to that particular person with whom the mishappening has happened you don't have to respond with oh dear when the situation has happened to you or one of your close relatives or one of like your concerns it's for someone else actually next one is i'm sorry to hear that i'm sorry to hear that you're so sorry to hear that this one's usage is the same as the fifth one oh dear 
both the usages both of these phrases as uses are actually same so remember that next one is sorry that's disappointing dot 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 you can add or just you can just full stop sorry that's disappointing actually it's usage is also kind of same like the fifth and sixth one you're really sorry for that person you're really feeling sorry for that person and yeah of course that's disappointing that was not worth happening next one is my goodness what a shock it's hard my goodness what a shock it's hard so there are actually three phrases here my goodness, you are really feeling bad. My goodness, this is a sad expression. It's, what a shock. You were really feeling like, what? Really? What a shock. And next one, it's hard. It's like hard to believe. It's hard to accept. It's hard to like, you know, accept actually. Actually, it was, it's hard to believe. Yeah, it meant the same. My goodness, what a shock. It's hard to believe. You're not able to believe what the, what just happened, what just what you just heard. Next one is that sad indeed. I can imagine how you feel. You're saying, yeah, of course that's sad. I can imagine how you feel. This you have to use at the situation in the situation where that same thing, where that same mishappening has happened to you. So there you have to use it. That's sad indeed. I can imagine how you feel. You can imagine how that particular person feels. You had the same feelings earlier that that person is having now. So here or there you have to use this. Last one is please accept my deepest sympathy. Please accept my deepest sympathy. This is like you're saying here that please accept my sympathy. Please accept my concern. This can be used if you're going in someone's funeral or in an accident or a really bad loss. What kind of... Yeah. So, you can, you're just saying that the person whom the mishappening has happened, but please accept my deepest sympathy. So, these were the 10 ways to respond to bad news. I hope you have learned something completely new, completely different in this video because... It's really important that how you have to give the bad news and how to respond to bad news because this is a really critical situation. This can be really critical for a person to handle or to tell. So you have to be perfect in telling all these things or to responding all these things. So I hope you have learned something amazing from this video. If you really like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you like really if you really like the content. Thanks for watching.